Okay, so now that your sculpture is complete, we have to do the work of documenting it. And what I'd like to do is revisit your rules of composition for the documentation of your sculpture. And you'll remember when we started the class, we talked about the rules of comp composition from diagonal to thirds, symmetrical radial and leading lines. And being able to compose the way that you document the sculpture is really important. So by placing your sculpture, your previous sculpture in a public place, you create a conversation around it. So now what we wanna do though, is take a photograph, in fact, take five photographs of your sculpture, but compose each one of those five differently. So for a quick review, we have the diagonal composition, which the major actions happening on the diagonal from one lower corner to one upper corner. We also have the rule of thirds where we can see that things are divided e to either horizontal or vertical thirds. We have the symmetrical composition, which could be symmetrical vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. We have a radial composition where there's multiple points that extend from a center. And the leading lines where some features of the environment tend to pull us towards the main object. And so your task is to take five photos of your sculpture and each one of those five should represent a different form of composition. And I've listed them out here again for you, but the trick is that you may have to move in different places and look at the sculpture from different angles and having more of the background or less of the background in the photo but thinking about how you set up five different photos of the same sculpture to tell those unique stories is your goal for not today but for tomorrow um, as well on your wednesday work day